You're not going to believe it, but we're back. We're back with two new chronographs from Ferrer here from Savile Row at Cad and the Dandy. We've got two models from the Chrono Contempo range. Two absolute beauties, 38.5 millimeters stainless steel cases. We were discussing how many other chronographs there were in the market that were 38 millimeters plus minus, and we couldn't think of many. So super excited about these. The first watch is the Chalcot. Beautiful gravel mint dial. That for me, and, and, and so often is with Ferrer watches, the star of the show. I can't tell you the last time I've seen a, uh, a gravel or a grained finish mint uh, colored dial, but this is just beautiful. It's got a 12 hour ceramic bezel as well. And the real kicker here is the big eye chronograph. So inspired by um, chronographs of a yesteryear, this big eye at three o'clock really is punchy. Um, the other two subdials are mint finish, but not grained. So there is a contrast between all three subdials. The only marker that we've got here is at 12 o'clock. So the 12 o'clock um, Arabic marker and then baton markers on the dial. It just wears so beautifully size-wise. To me, that is just perfection. The other thing, of course, to mention here is the case. While it's a, a really interesting, modest case size, we've got a beautiful and, and I believe proprietary design for Ferrer, which is the ski jump lug. So uh, typically lugs taper off, but in this instance, the uh, lugs actually have a, a, a slight contour upwards at the end, beautifully uh, finished beveled. Um, polished and matte finish, so the side of the case is matte, uh, whereas there are edges that are polished. So on both references we have ceramic bezels. In this instance we have a very dark midnight blue ceramic bezel, 12 hour bi-directional. So it goes both ways, again harking back to those vintage references that the watch is inspired by. Got to touch on the hands because the hands are stunning, they're white, uh, lacquered almost, they've got a real thickness to them, they've got real punch. And then of course the chronograph hand, which is uh, this, this neon orange, which has almost become a defining element of Farah's uh, DNA from a design perspective. All in, it's, it's a wonderful combination. It's one that has a statement about it, has presence, but also sort of a real wearability to it, which I love. So out of the two, that would be my pick but that's not to, to discount this beautiful Portobello, which again shares the same case, uh, 38.5 millimeters. But in this instance, we've got a beautiful punchy orange, uh, 12 hour bi-directional ceramic bezel. It really is cool. I love that color. That really is a summer color right there. In this uh, reference, the, um, the Portobello versus the Chalcot, we don't have the big eye chronograph. So the chronographs are a snailed finish versus this chocolate box effect in a, in a midnight blue. So really elegant midnight blue. The markers themselves have polished edges, again, harking back to that vintage love and, and, and really a beautiful combination of different elements. The hands are polished as well. And the actual chronograph hand in this instance, not orange like it is here, but it's white with a little arrow midway through the, uh, the hand itself, which adds another design element to it, which I love. The caliber inside both references, the Salita SW510, hand wound, again, harking back to vintage references from the past. But what I really like is this bridge that's been applied on top of the movement here and finished with the Fara uh, hand, the arrow hand, in, in, in a beautifully artistic um, way. It's lasered in there and it's wonderful. In, in some ways, it is Fara's take on the El Angazona three quarter plate. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So two really punchy chronographs, both with their own design ethos and both I absolutely love. And um, I'm hard pressed to choose which one I prefer. I'd have to go for the Chalcot just because I've never come across a mint gravel dial. Um, and I'm not sure that I will again because this might be the one that owns that design element. So love them, love both of them. Really nicely proportioned in, in many ways encapsulating what is fantastic about Farah as a young brand. So as always guys, do leave your thoughts below. Tell me what you think of both, which one you prefer. Thanks as always, cheers.